speaking to the purposes of God for this generation and generations to come. Okay, here is a book that you're going to love. The title is How to Keep Your Faith in an Upside Down World, and it's written by Sarah Bowling. You know, a lot of people feel like the world is upside down. In many ways it is. Evil is glorified, Christians are vilified, and athletes earn more money than the total budget of some small countries. It makes you just want to throw up your hands and tell the craziness to stop. In an upside down world such as this, Jesus says, peace I leave with you, my peace I give you. I do not give you as the world gives you. Do not let your hearts be troubled and do not be afraid. Now, Sarah Bowling has written a book that's going to help you accomplish this. How to keep your faith in an upside down world. With you in mind, she shares how you can turn your life right side up through simple faith in God. Her own upside down life experiences led her to God-given destiny that includes co-hosting the daily television program today with Marilyn and Sarah, her mom's Marilyn Hickey. Look, this book offers encouraging and inspirational stories designed to bring Christians a deeper sense of their own Christ-given power and their own purpose in life. Only a life dedicated to God will write your own world now and forever. There is hope for the world, and it begins with you having your world turned right side up again. Listen. My name is Sarah Bowling, and I've recently written a book called Upside Down, Living a Revolutionary Life. And you know, I think there's greatness inside you. I really believe that with all my heart. You may think I'm just an average, mediocre person. Maybe you think, man, I'm awesome. But whatever your thoughts are about yourself, God thinks that you are truly incredible. And He has designed you, made you, to live a life that is upside down, to live a revolutionary life. And I've recently written a book that I want to encourage you to get because this book will help you understand why you're on the planet, will help encourage you on how God can use you. And well, I believe this as well, will open your eyes on the destiny, the purpose, the designs that God has for you. Because I believe this, the world that we live in, I was talking with a friend of mine the other day, the world that we live in, I believe is upside down. I don't believe that divorce should be normal, drugs should be normal, AIDS should be so prevalent. I don't believe that gossip, all these things should be normal. I believe that the world we live in is upside down. But in order for us to change the world that we live in, we ourselves need to live opposite to the way the world lives. And so you say, that's awesome, Sarah. I'd love to, love to see that happen, but I don't know how to go about that. Well, in this book, this is going to really help you to see how God can use you in your life, just even on an incremental basis, on a daily basis, to live an upside down life. This book will help you. It will inspire you. It will encourage you. God will use this book to open your eyes and see, wow, these are some areas God could actually use me. Wow, this is an area God wants me to grow in. Wow, this is an area where I could live a revolutionary life. And you know, you don't have to have an AK-47, a, a machine gun or a machete to live a revolutionary life. You can live a revolutionary life in the community, the neighborhood, the condominium, right there where you live, in the school where you attend. God can use you to live a revolutionary life, to turn your community upside down with His power in your life. And you know, I love this. When you look at the Bible, the people that God uh, heralds as heroes in the Bible were all, in many respects, revolutionaries. And if God can use some of these regular, average, Joe Schmo, run-of-the-mill people that are just regular, common people, how much more can He use you to change the world that you live in? So rather than curse the darkness and say, oh, this is awful. Oh, these are horrible things that are happening. Oh, the politics of blah, blah, blah. Instead of cursing the darkness, why don't you let God use you to be a light and bring a light into your community through revolution, revolutionary love, revolutionary uh, actions, revolutionary heart, authentic revolution. But here's the thing. If God wants to use you, and He does in a big way, to bring revolution to the world that you live in, the very first thing that needs to happen is you yourself need to be revolutionized. And I've said this before, I believe this very firmly. It is hard to do what has not been done to you. We see this in a negative way. We see oftentimes that people who are child molesters, many of them statistically have, have been discovered to have been molested as a child. Now that's a negative way of looking at it. 
but I believe in a very positive way. If you consider Acts chapter 9, Paul was on the road to Damascus. And when he had an experience with Jesus, he fell on the ground. He himself was turned upside down. Yes, Sarah Bowling has a lot to say. How to keep your faith in an upside down world. It's available through the website on the screen. It's available through the toll-free number. You can also get it at your favorite online book source and also at bookstores everywhere. You need to get this book today so that your upside down world can be turned right side up again.